Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy Handyman, Handy Andy On Demand. Welcome back to an inspection repair run through. We're over today in Alfreda Johns Creek in the Glen, Glen Abbey neighborhood. And we're looking at a bunch of repairs that come up on the inspection report. And so if you haven't been following our videos, a lot of you guys do. And um, what's going on here today is uh, this seller is now under contract and we're out here for the buyer's agent this time and the buyer looking at the repairs and pricing those things up so they'll know what things will cost. And so on this particular bay window, these are beautiful homes, but there's always little shortcuts that are taken. And a lot of times it's because the people coming out just don't either have the skills or know how to do it. And so these three windows on this bay are an example of that. And so what happens on bay windows a lot is when you've got this angled gutter all the way around, I can't zone in on it because of the light right now, but there's two rivets on the bottom of each piece connecting it. And so those leak. And then more than likely, it looks like if you look at the windows, you can see the streaking in heavy rains, the water's coming right over the gutter, so that downspout is clogged over there. So we need to clean it. Uh, but then what's happened is when this area gets wet, it doesn't get a lot of sun, so it's, it never gets a chance to dry out. And more than likely, um, whoever did this repair was probably a painter, and they just the customers don't really know how to make these repairs. And so what this person did is they took the rotted sash, which is actually behind this piece of wood that you see here. This is interior base cap. It's just base, and they basically glued it to the sashes on all three windows out here. And so whatever wasn't rotted behind this now is rotted. Uh, and Handy is the only company that I know of that it can actually route and, and repair this window with wood. Most times we get painters come out and they'll put Bondo in here. The, the wood fungi that causes wood rot is anaerobic. So once you seal it up, it, goes, it grows like wildfire. Here it's even worse because they took a dry rotted sash and now it can't breathe because it's got this base cap over the top of it. They're not opening windows, they don't operate, so they probably figured this was fine and they caulked it in. So we'll repair all that, and whenever you see wrinkling on your house, like right here, I won't push too hard, you'll see my finger go through it. That's the left sash. This is the right sash here. See the wrinkling where my finger is? So we'll cut this out and piece it in. All the wood that we use is back primed and sealed, so it'll never rot again. If, if it does for some reason, we've never had that happen in 20 some years. We actually just caught, called on a warranty call today for something. Uh, where a customer said our wood was rotting after two or three years and it turned out that it was a different cause she had an issue with a, a roof which we just went ahead and fixed under warranty anyway and so when you see these kind of cuts here into the frame and the mold they're almost horizontal cuts you want them cut like this we call it weather cut or angle cut and then the replacement wood is sealed and back primed all the way around so it won't rot out again so we do a ton of these repairs um, it's rare that you see somebody slap a piece of a base like this. They did this on the center window as well. And when you get up on top of one of these windows right here, see my finger? I don't want to push too hard on it. But see where it's pulling away? That's the old sash, which is this material, wood. And same thing here. And so the inspectors, the better inspectors are trained. They're looking for caulk. So if you're selling your house, make sure before you list it for sale, you go around and touch up any black lines and first floor levels, areas you can see. Just spot caulk that stuff. Because once an inspector sees this, then he starts looking harder. Uh, and like I said, we're the only company I know of that'll make these repairs. So we'll actually router out the wood on this side. You get the same issue here. See how they feathered it with caulk in this corner right here? And then they put base on top of the rotted sash. So this will have to come off on all three windows. We'll router out the bad wood. Uh, and you gotta be really careful not to break these windows. That's the real trick with this stuff, uh, is not breaking that thermopane. That's an expensive window. These windows installed, that's probably about an $1,800 window, $2,000 window. And so we're on the right front bay right here. You've got the same issue. A little better shape, uh, but it's all rotted behind it. Same thing with the frame and the, and the brick mold on each side. The other thing the inspector noted, which a lot of times people aren't walking their houses, so they don't see this stuff. Um, but both of these vents are broken on the right side of the, the property. The first one apparently got hit with a tree limb or something and smashed the top on it. And the bottom one down here is missing entirely. More than likely a tree limb came out of this tree or something and hit it at some point. Uh, we'll go around this way to catch some a few things back here. Um, one of the things that the inspector noted was he's got a, it's probably a foundation drain. And more than likely that drain came around through this way. And when they put this pad down here, they dropped it over here. And so you've got a foundation drain right here. We hate putting corrugated lines underground like that. And so we'll unclog it, but it needs to be extended right there's a natural spot between those trees and then it'll never be a problem everything we saw down here is in pretty good shape and again we're not out here to reinspect. these are all items that the inspector found 
in terms of rotted woods and things that he wanted repaired on the property. Uh, when you come up on the back deck back here, he's talking about the great room. And you can almost see where we'd have to get up on a ladder right here. But if you look at this window, this window, and this window, we'll check them out on ladders, but it's the same repair. Someone took a piece of base and overlaid the window, and they did the same thing here on this great room window. And this one's still solid, but that wasn't the right way to make the repair. On this first floor right window, they replaced the molding, but they didn't repair the, the frame is rotted behind it, see? Put your finger right through that. The second story window here, the inspector was noting some issue with the siding right around here. It's just so much water that's coming through. But this front nose right here, if you look at it, it's hard to see it, but with the sunlight, I'm sorry. Hopefully it's coming out there. But if you look in the right corner right here, see that dimple in it? They put putty in it, but it's rotted. So on noses, we have to replace it all the way across. We can't piece those in. And there was something over here, nothing major. It's in our notes. And then we come across to the, I guess this was the, the den or the living room here den. He's noted the right side frame right here is rotted. So we'll repair that as well. And I think that's all we had for right here. Uh, we've been doing this stuff for 25 years in Metro Atlanta. It's hard to believe. So many years. Um... I'm doing a lot of the stuff the same way my dad did and his dad. If you look on the right side of the fireplace right here, this triangle piece is what we call a dog ear. This piece is rotted through, so we would just replace it with one by 12 material. We don't use plywood like that. But overall, it looks like this homeowner really tried to, to take care of his home. Unfortunately, a lot of homeowners end up relying on the painters and painters aren't carpenters and like many tradesmen, they're just trying to get the job done as fast as they can quicker they get it done the more money they make we're one of the few companies left that hand paints the inspector noted this fascia board right here at the left side corner and again i can probably zero in here this we see this all the time in houses it's really not defective but you see those little rivets right there the screws in the bottom of the gutter that's what leaks and cause a rot right next to it so it's a difficult repair because we actually have to pull the gutter out to get it in there route out the wood and replace it and then he's got the same issue over here, you can see it a little more clearly on this corner right here. And so the painters knew this was here. The homeowner probably doesn't even know it. See where it's all wrinkled right there? And again, it's from the, the gutter. So we'd make the repair and then seal the, the gutters in that corner. Every five years, if you seal the gutter corners, you'll be fine. We live for this stuff. We've been doing it forever. I'm usually in one of these little trucks over here. It's me, my brother, and 30 guys running all over the place doing this stuff. Pretty much everything except concrete swimming pools and air conditioning anything else we do it kitchens and baths and basements and roof repairs and gutters and painting and any kind of rotted wood any kind of handyman work look for our new handy handy on demand division we do all the little stuff you'll prepay for two hours of time the guys will come out prepared to do the work so you won't be wasting your time i'm andy we're at 770-912-2829 see you at the next house bye for now